All right, friends. Today we are moving on with the next steps of our texture owl project. And today we're going to talk about two different ways that you can draw your owl. Um, one way is to have your owl's wings stretched out like he's flying. Or you could also have your owl with his wings just down by his side uh, where he would just be kind of standing. Um, if you do him uh, standing, then you might want to actually even draw a um, branch for him to be standing on. So one thing that's going to be very important today for this project is making sure that you draw your owl really big. So we want our owl to be in the center of our paper. If you drew your paper horizontally, then you will have plenty of room for his wings to be stretched out. But if you decided to do your paper vertically, which is straight up and down like this, then you may not have as much room for his wings to be stretched out. So maybe he would be um, actually with his wings down by his side in the center of your paper if you did it, um, made your paper vertical. So you're going to have some choices to make today. So I did my wind blowing side to side this way, which means that my paper is horizontal, so I'm going to actually draw my owl with both examples of the wings so that you can see the difference in what it might look like. I'm going to be using a white crayon today to draw my owl nice and big in my paper. You will be using pencil. I am just using the white crayon so that you can see it on the camera so that it shows up uh, well. So we're basically just going to be drawing our owl right over the top of our starry night. So this starry night with the wind and the moon, that's going to be in the background behind our owl. So to start, I'm going to make a big oval for his body. So I'm going to use my crayon here and I'm just going to draw a nice big oval right over the top. And this is going to be the shape for my owl's body. I'm going to put another curve, almost like small half circle or three quarters of a circle up here at the top. And this is going to be his head. I'm going to make his tail. So I'll put two diagonal lines and then a curved line that connects them to make his tail. And then we are ready for the wings. In order to make his wings, um, you can either do down by the, his side or also you could do a wing that stretches out. So on this side, I'm going to make just a simple curved line and that is his wing just resting down by his side. And on this side, to show you the difference, I'm going to make a wing that is stretched out. So I'm going to put a line that curves out this way and then curves back into my owl's body. And now you can kind of see that you could do two wings down by his side or you could do two wings stretched out and that's going to be your choice today. After we draw this, we will um, start thinking about what colors we might want our owl's body to be and then uh, we'll be using torn pieces of paper and gluing them inside the shapes that we just made in order to make his feathers be an actual texture so that when you touch your owl, you will actually feel the texture of the feathers on his body. So we'll work more on those feathers next time. 